Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, this time I'm going to do, um, it's not going to be a tutorial, it's mostly just going to be me answering some questions for you guys because I get tons and tons of them in my video. And then also um, a couple updates and then I just want to ask you guys some things for those of you who actually watch my videos. Um, first off, let's go ahead and do the frequently asked questions. Um, first one is, can I use this to play my game? Uh, I mostly get like Call of Duty, Halo, I've had Assassin's Creed, and mostly, yes, you can. Um, you can pretty much use a plugged-in controller with the drivers to play anything that you can play with a keyboard, honestly, because what you're doing with these drivers, um, not so much with these drivers, this is just getting your computer to recognize the controller in general. The drivers themselves, um, like that's what I just said, but what you need is something like either Gamepad Companion, which is going to be your cheaper choice for those of you that don't have a lot of money to put down on a, um, a control program. And what this does is it allows you to program um, your, your controller to basically act like a keyboard. So you can tell it that when you push left on the control stick that it's going to act like when you're pushing left on your keyboard. So you're basically turning your controller into a pseudo keyboard in a way. So um, you would need something like this. Um, this is the cheaper choice. It's called Gamepad Companion. It's only $7.99 currently on the Apple App Store, which makes it very easy to download right now. Um, the one that I prefer and is slightly more expensive, it's uh, $24, but it's called Controller Mate. And this one is very, very in-depth. You can, you can do so much crazy stuff with it. So it does take a while. Um, you'd have to watch a few videos on YouTube before you understand how to use it. But this one is much better. Uh, you can get much finer tuned responses. I actually had it for a little while. I no longer have it. But um, I had it and I actually made some play like control schemes for Minecraft. And um, you, I mean, you can literally set it up to play anything. You could probably play StarCraft on it, though I wouldn't recommend it. Like you could literally set it up to play anything you wanted. So that's, um, that's what you need if you want to play whatever game you are planning on playing. If you can install it on your computer, you can use the controller to play it, basically. Um, the next thing is going to be, my controller doesn't work, what should I do? Um, what you should do is probably make sure that it's supported, which will be my next question. Um, and to do that, you can either ask me in my video or go to the forums that I always link you guys to. I'm going to make sure that those links are still working for you. Um, and you can just ask, because the guy on the forum, TS Fan, he is the one who puts these controller lists together, um, I kind of can help you edit your controller list. If you don't know if your controller is supported, I can get your vendor ID and product number and I can update it for you so that you know your controller is supported. But what you're gonna have to do is go to the links in my other videos and just, you have to kind of do your research really just to make sure it's in the controller list, um, which I'll also talk about in a minute. Um, is my controller supported? I kind of just covered that, I guess. Um, check check the forums, you know, talk to people, ask me if it's, if it's a run of the mill controller, even though I'm kind of figuring out that not all of them are because some of the newer ones, like I have an afterglow AX one. Um, I just realized that I bought it last year, I believe. And some of the newer ones that have been manufactured like this year will actually have different product ID and vendor numbers. So just because so-and-so says, Oh, I have a afterglow AX one and it should work fine doesn't mean that yours is going to. It may have like one digit different number because it was manufactured differently. So that's when you would have to either go to the forums. Um, there's a lot of guys there that know how to update controller lists or I have a video that shows you how to update your controller list and it is very easy to do. Um, you just have to be kind of careful when you're editing the numbers and everything but you can actually do it yourself and it's quite quite simple if you just follow my video. Um, that one is going to be called How to Add Your Controller to a Controller List. Um, it's one of my newer videos. I don't remember exactly what I titled it, titled it but um, I will link it in this video just so you guys know. And I'm probably going to put this video as an annotation on my other videos just so you guys can find it easily. Um, so that should pretty much cover a lot of the technical issues you guys are having. If your controller doesn't respond, you should basically, once you plug your controller in, um, if the lights come on and flash for a second and then it goes off, it's not being recognized and that means that your controller ID is not in the controller list, the .plist file. If your lights all come on and stay on and you can move your controller stick and these little dots move around and you press buttons and these light up and the bumpers cause these to go, your controller is recognized. Um, I ran in recently with um, 
a guy who just posted some comments on my video. He'll plug it in and it'll light up and stay lit up, but he can't open this preference pane. Once he clicks it, it will not open. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that right now um, so we can kind of work through that. And um, for everybody who asks why does version 8 only work, I'm not sure. I don't know what Taddy Boggle is doing with his with his uh, updates and stuff, and maybe they're... Maybe they do work and we just don't know how or they only work with the controller list that he supplies with it. I mean, you know, vanilla controller list, basically. Um, I don't know exactly why this version only works. It's just, it's the most compatible version and it works amazing with everything. So I just recommend that everybody stay with version 8. That is the one to use right now until further notice. Um, so that pretty much wraps up most of the controller questions. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am currently in the process of building my own computer. Um, I've been using a MacBook Pro for since 2008, basically. I have the late 2008 model. Um, I'm in the process of building a Hackintosh. So probably in the next month or two, that will be finished. And I plan on doing some Let's Play series. And I don't know if you guys would even be interested in watching that, or um, if you are, what kind of games you'd want me to play. I would probably play whatever is popular at the time or, um, you know, I, I kind of like supporting indie games or even just doing some throwbacks, like do, do a playthrough of some, like, cool, uh, you know, like NES games or something that were kind of off the charts. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm also going to continue doing these videos, of course, and keeping you guys in the loop on all that stuff just because it's nice to do. Um, other than that, not a whole lot else going on. Um, I'm thinking about possibly I have a PayPal account and I'm thinking about maybe setting it up so I can accept donations um, if you guys would ever even be interested in donating um, especially for when I get my videos going if I'm gonna do playthrough I think that'd be really cool um, other than that I really thank you guys for all your views and I'm getting a lot of subscribers so I really really do appreciate that um, it is my dream not so much I mean not I'm not like it's my dream. It's my, like, not my goal in life or anything, but it would be really fun for me to be able to be a YouTuber, um, semi, you know, as, as somewhat of a career, not, I'm not planning on living off of it, but, um, it would be nice to have a little extra money so that I could continue to do these videos for you guys. Cause it's really fun. And I really enjoy the feedback that I get from them. A lot of you guys have given me really, really cool comments and that's, what's keeping me going. And, um, yeah, so Thanks again for watching this, and um, I will keep you updated and continue to let you guys know if things change, um, if files get updated, if anything happens to work differently. I will let you guys know as soon as I know, and I hope to um, have your continued support. And yeah, thanks again, guys. Have a good day.